ControlNet just added a new feature called Guidance Start. It might help you fix hands, for example. Today's video is just going to be a quick one and talking about speed. I once was afraid of speed bumps, but I'm slowly getting over it now. So I have this image that I created and as you can see the hand here is not great. I actually prompted for a victor sign or a peace sign and this is clearly not it. So we are going to have a look at guidance start, a new feature in ControlNet where you can delay the start of your ControlNet input. So in the example you see here there's an image and the hand is all wonky and I can't even call that a happy accident. So what they did here is that here's a control net input of another hand just overlaid on top. And now if you would use this previously in Stable Diffusion control net, this would just be nothing. It would be a random generation based on your prompt. And this white area would be prompted. And as you can see here, that's not what's happening. They have the image here and the image here, but the hand is now fixed and that is now the power of guidance start let me show you how that works now it's not perfect yet in any way but it has a great potential so this is the image that i've created and this is uh, with the new deliberate model this prompt and all my styles can be found in discord in the resources channel just check the pinned messages just make sure that whenever you're using this feature you need to use an image that you've already generated and you need to keep the same seed, especially if you're using text to image. Now down here in control net, we are gonna input our hand. And you might think, well, how do I do that? I'm going into photo P here, and I have dropped my image here. Then I went and found a sketch of a hand. And you can draw your own or go to Google and find a free stock hand that you have the permission to use. And then you are going to position it and you do that by going edit free transform. Now you might need to flip this horizontally depending on the layout of, of the hand. Now the thumb here is on this side. Now you can see the thumb here is on this side. So this is the wrong way. So we need to transform it back. And then we are going to do the free transform. Now take that into position, rotate that. And then you can scale it to your desired size and just try to fit that in. And when you've done that, you are going to create a new layer and just fill that with white. You do that by pressing Alt Backspace to get the foreground or Control Backspace for the background color. So now we have our scribble input and you can do this with 3D posing like Blender and get a depth map. But for this, we are using scribble, then export that as a JPEG. Now we have our input. So I'm just going to drag that hand test into here and you're going to enable control net. Now, if you don't have control net, check my first video on control net and that will show you how to install it. A big scribble here, scribble here. And now let me show you what happens. If you have the guidance start here set at zero, it will start trying to create the hand from the first iteration or the first frame. And that is not what we're looking for. So let me show you how that would look. As you can see here, we're not really getting what we want at all. Now, what you need to do to get the image that we had before, let's just disable this to get that image back. So we have this image. We're going to enable back this. And we're going to up the guidance start to about 0.2. That means it will take 20% of the iterations before this hand gets activated. So for 20%, it will do just this, no control net, and then the rest of what is 80% now, since this is set at, at one, will be the hand. Now you can adjust both the start and the end depending on your needs. And you can do it with multiple control nets. And it's just not about hands, it's about basically anything, anything that you would want a delayed start off or something that should taper off in the end. Now let's try this. Now we have, you can see, you could quickly see that we didn't have the hand there. 
for the first iterations. But then we got the hand here. So we have an image that is very similar to the first one. It's not 100%, but it's very close. And you can see here that the hand is not perfect in any way, shape or form, but it's a great way to get some more control into your workflow. And depending on how your image looks and what your hand input is, you can play with the values, the weight and the guidance start and the guidance end. Let's say I put this a little lower. I will lose some of the coherence of the hand. And as you can see, we just got the one finger up now. We've got a thumb out there. So it's kind of, you know, trying to get that shape, but not as much. It's just, okay, let's try and get the shape a little bit and then let's go get a coffee and a donut. But if you put it, you know, up here, oh, it's crunch time now. We're not eating in a week. And it will also mean that this black part is going to be painted in. So this will probably break the hand. So this is just, you know, something else. You can see the shape here, but it's really not working. So depending on your input, play with the value. Let's try 1.15 for this image. You can see here that it's getting a little better. You're also getting some changes in the image depending on how the hand moves. We can clearly see it's the same image and it's just smaller changes. You can recognize the woman, the outfit and this big yellow glow behind her. Now let's say that we want to stop this. So let's say we just want a quick little hand there and then it can do whatever it wants. So you can see the hand getting there. And then it's, you know, kind of starts doing something else. You can see the chin here and whatnot. Now, I don't know how you would want to use this yet. So if you have any great ideas to put the guidance end into your workflow, please let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate it. Since this is a brand new tool, it's new for me as well. So uh, I learn a lot from you guys, both in the comments and on Discord. And I am very happy for that. I do this not only to teach you guys, but uh, learn myself. Let's try and put this back in later. Like the previous example with the low weight, kind of getting the shape of the two fingers, but it's, the, it's different fingers this time. It's the thumb and the index finger. So play around with it. It's a very cool feature. Do you have any more ideas what you could do except hands? Maybe some cool stuff with multiple control nuts? Let me know and we'll see what this new feature can do for us. This was just a quick explanation because I saw a lot of people on both Reddit and on my Discord that didn't understand how it actually worked. So I just wanted to show you that. Now, this was not a way to get you to do perfect hands. I think that warrants a whole other video that was probably a lot longer. But uh, this will get you started, hopefully. Thank you for watching. As always, have a good one.